I have four more beach DIYs. Um, I'm really liking um, the, the beach DIYs, so you might see them more and more from me. So we'll start with DIY number one, and that's one of the starfish wire wreath frames, say that 10 times fast, from the Dollar Tree. And I have some macrame cord that I've had for probably 20 years or more. I've glued the end of it to the back of the frame and I'm also gluing the uh, front part where I loop it over and then for the next part we're going to start uh, weaving. So I'm going over the outer one, under the middle one, and over the outer one. Then the next, the next one I'll go under the outer one over the inner one and under the outer one and you'll just keep alternating like that so it's just weaving that's all you're doing and you can use any color cord that you want um, I had other colors I could use but I really like this green I guess it's a like a chartreuse green and I'm using it in the other DIYs too, that color. And the, the cord, I cut it, I wanna say 26 inches times three for each of the, the starfish points or legs or whatever you want to call them. So 26 inches times three, whatever that is. And then I just kept weaving it until I ran out of cord. And I sped this up so you wouldn't have to watch me do this for an hour or more. So once you get down to the end, you want to make sure that you're going to end it on the back side. So I'm just putting down a little bit of hot glue and I'm going to tack the end of my macrame cord into the glue. And then you'll just do the same thing to each point of the star. Doesn't that look nice? I love how it turned out. So there you see that all five points have been done. And now to do the rest of it, you're just going to add another piece of cord to the back of one of the um, star legs that you completed earlier. You're just going to go and put this cord to the end of the other cord so that you'll be going in the same direction you were going earlier. And again, you're just going to weave. And I'm not quite sure how long this cord was. I want to say, I really don't know, maybe a yard, but you can always add more cord. You just add it to the back where you ended your previous cord. Now, when you start weaving towards the center of the starfish, um, it your cord will start trying to go towards the center. So you do have to start gluing it down. So right here, where it spreads out, you have to start gluing each side as you weave it. Or you're going to have some open spots.
once you get closer to that center uh, ring, it does get a little more difficult to do your weaving. But just stick with it and your fingers do get sore. So you might want to do this um, instead of all at one time. You might want to do part of it one day and part of it the next day because my fingers were pretty sore. So I've taken this cord as far as it will go and now I'm going to wrap that center ring twice in between each um, star leg. And I'm just taking this tool here just to help me push the cord through because like I said it does get a little difficult. But the end result is totally worth it. Let me know if you've ever um, done one of these uh, starfish wreath forms from the Dollar Tree, if you've done anything with them. So there I'm showing you where I just wrap the ring twice in between there. And there it is completed. So one star leg totally complete. So we're going to go on to the next leg. And when you get to where there is no more wire, then you have to put your cord through in between two cords from the previous star leg. And again, you're just continuing in your weaving pattern. But you're taking it up through two of the cords from the previous star leg. And you still have to um, glue down the edge, the cord on the edge, because it will try to go forward and leave an open patch. Now um, the end of that cord was short so I just went ahead and glued it to the back of the starfish and now I'm taking the cord from the previous leg and I'm wrapping it around the ring in the center of the starfish.
you're just going to continue in this manner until you get all five of the star legs done and the center ring completely covered. It does get a little bit harder as you go along. So uh, you may need a tool to help you push it through. I'm trying to get the camera at an angle where you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> It's, it's pretty difficult. <laughs> because it's hard to keep the starfish down and do your uh, weaving as you're trying to, you know, show people what to do. But I hope you can see enough of it to figure it out. Okay, there I have all, all but one of the legs totally completed. And I'm continuing to wrap the ring in the center. Okay, there I have all the legs done and I have to do a little bit more weaving and a little bit more wrapping the center ring. Now that I have, I'm finished with that cord, I'm going to glue it down and cut it off. You want to hold it until uh, the glue catches. And then you see we still have a little bit of the ring to cover. And basically all you're doing is just wrapping it. Just wrapping it around. So I have this um, partial hole here, so I have to do a little bit more weaving. And you just want to push it in between where you wrap the ring and the previous cord. And then you're going to wrap the ring some more. Then I'm going to glue that piece of um, cord down and cut the excess off. And then there's a tad bit more weaving to do.
Once I get that pulled through, I'll just glue it down and cut the excess off. And now we can decorate it. I think it turned out really good. I mean, I liked it. I'll be hanging it on my wall. So there it is. And now we're going to work on our embellishment, which is um, one of the Dollar Tree sand dollars. And we're going to use some scallion paint to just dab in the center of it and around the edges. So I'm just using one of those round foam uh, daubers. And then we're going to take a small piece of the cord that we had cut off. We're going to put uh, knots in both ends. And then we're going to glue it to the back for our hanger. Then we're going to flip it over and we're going to hot glue our uh, sand dollar on. So I'm just putting the glue around the ring in the center and I'm just going to pop my uh, sand dollar on there and that's it. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. And on to DIY number two. So I've had this um, camera from the Dollar Tree probably I don't know two years and didn't know what to do with it so what I'm taking is the blue painters tape and I'm taping over the blue line at the top on up and the bottom on down and look at this I had just enough tape We're going to be using three different color of paints from um, Waverly Chalk Paint. And we're going to start with the color Ocean. Now this does take two coats of paint. And you do have to make sure the first coat is dry before you put the second coat on. So I'm going to go down a little bit more than a third of the way with this ocean paint. Once that's dry, then I put on the second coat of Ocean. And I'm just doing the top side of the camera. I'm not doing the sides. And this piece will just sit on a table or um, you could put it in a tear tray. You could sit on your cabinet. I mean, just wherever you want it. It does sit up by itself. So uh, once that is dry, I go on to the Lagoon and I just love this color. It's one of my favorites. And I do not um, wash my brush in between the colors. And I don't mind if the Lagoon gets into the ocean color. And once that coat is dry, then I put on a second coat.
I make sure that is dry before I put on my coat of scallion which is a green that looks a lot very close to the green that was in my starfish wreath so all the pieces all the DIYs from today will uh, coordinate together now with this I'm going a little bit over the lagoon and again I do you do need to do two coats of paint because the um, the design underneath will show through if you only do one so I wait for it to dry and then I put a second coat on and again I don't mind if the look if the um, green paint gets into the blue paint Once that is dry, I take off the painter's tape. And then I lightly go over the uh, paints with a sanding block. And don't worry about the uh, circle at the top. We will be covering that up with some rope. So you won't see that yellow with the circle around the top or the bottom where you place your picture. So I have this white and blue rope that I got from Hobby Lobby probably two years ago. This is all I have left. And I'm just going to use hot glue to attach it to my camera. I'm just going to trim the ends because there are some uh, fraying around the rope. So I want to make sure that the ends of my rope are at the bottom of my camera. And I'm just putting the hot glue around the opening in the camera. I think this turned out really cute and I did see another crafter do this and I can't remember her name So you just trim up the excess of your of your rope put some glue on the ends of uh, your ropes where they meet and I'm just taking this little silicone um, makeup tool and using it so I don't burn myself then we then I have these clothes pins that have the starfish on them that I got from the Dollar Tree and I removed one of the starfish from the clothes pin with the tool that you see there that was one of those tools from the Dollar Tree um, that you use with a Cricut machine. So I'm just going to hot glue my starfish where uh, onto the cord where the ends meet. <clears throat> now I'm going to flip my camera over. I'm going to take my flathead screwdriver and uh, I'm going to loosen those uh, little catches or knobs or whatever you want to call them and uh, take the round piece out we're not going to use the plastic and uh, we're just going to use the round that's in there and I'm going to give it one coat of plaster Waverly plaster color using uh, one of those round daubers foam daubers and so you only have to do one coat
once I finish that and the paint dries then I take my sanding block and I just lightly sand it we're gonna put some vinyl on it and I think that if you sand it it'll probably make it a little bit better so that the uh, vinyl will stick to it or that is my theory might not be true might be who knows so I got this smile off of um, Cricut design space and I uh, cut it out in some bluish teal vinyl and I'm just going to put it right in the center of that round I'm going to burnish it down and then remove the tape and then we'll just put it back in the camera now don't forget you can always use that tape again so don't throw it away after the first time you use it so we're just going to put the round back in the camera make sure that your word is right side up and then just put your little tabs back down so it won't fall out and then you can set it up on uh, a little table and enjoy I think it turned out cute I like it on to DIY number three so this DIY were the uh, three stack faux books from the Dollar Tree from Valentine's Day so it's the one I had left over so I'm just taking my ocean blue paint and I'm going to paint the top section and I'm going to be using the um, the, the uh, sponge dauber that way I don't have to do two coats of paint I only have to do one And I sped this up because I know, you know, everybody knows how to paint, right? But I just wanted you to get the idea. And I'm almost out of my ocean paint. I'm going to have to get some more. But I heard Crafter saying that um, Walmart isn't carrying Waverly anymore. I don't know. So this is Lagoon. And I'm going to use that for the second book. And it doesn't bother me if I get some lagoon mixed in with the ocean. It's okay. And now we're going to use the scallion for the last book and for the bottom. And again, I don't care if it has a little blue in it. That's fine with me. Of course, if you don't want that, then, you know, you do you, boo. We all do we. We, we, we. I'm not crazy. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so once that is done, I did take my sander and go over it a little bit. And now I'm taking one of the dry erase pens. I couldn't find my Sharpie, so this was the next best, next best thing. So I'm just defining the uh, spaces in between the faux books. So you can see it better. Oh, I'm sorry. I did the sanding after I did the black pen. And I, you do see some of the pink coming through, but I'm okay with that. And so I printed this up from um, 
designs, uh, Cricut Design Space. And I'm looking for the third dot. It was there and now it's gone. So anyway, I ended up with the two dots after, mm, I don't know what happened to it. So mine has two dots. And it did pull up a little bit of the paint, but like I said, I was okay with that. And it says, mmm, beach please. I could use the beach right now. Now I did try to size the letters so they would be the right size for the books, but the please uh, was still a little bit bigger. So I just moved it down a little bit. So the L was on the other side of the B right there. So, mmm, beach please. And now I just take some black and white uh, checked ribbon. And I'm not sure if, I think that came from the Dollar Tree. I'm not quite sure. Either there or Hobby Lobby. So I'm just going to tie a knot. A pretty tight knot. So it's not going to fall off my books. And then I'm going to dovetail the ends. And then I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the ends of the ribbon so they'll stay down. They're just sticking up a little bit too much for me. And then I have this greenery that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to cut the little tips off. And I'm going to put some hot glue on the end and stick it up under the knot. So this other piece I cut down a little bit so it's a smaller piece. Again, I put glue on the end and just put it up under the knot of the ribbon. And then we want to add a little something to the knot. So I get out these fish that are on clothespins that came from the Dollar Tree. And I take one off of the clothespin. Now, sometimes these come off easy and sometimes not so much. So I sped this up so you wouldn't have to watch me struggle with it. It did come off, but it did take a little bit of the fish with it. But not enough that I can't use it. So I glue that right onto the knot. And that's it for this Mm, beach please book stack and now on to DIY number four so for this one here I have this um, looks like a seashell MDF board from the Dollar Tree probably a couple years ago and I'm just gonna take the um, the string out of it and I did put an extra hole in it at the bottom it had two holes for the string and I put an extra hole in and then I was sanding off the glitter and now I have uh, the ocean color and again I'm gonna do the ocean lagoon and scallion <clears throat> so I had this where I thought that was the top but that's really the bottom so I wanted wanted the blues on top and the green on the bottom, but it didn't work out that way. So my green is going to be on top, <clears throat> then my lagoon, and then my ocean. 
and again this does take two coats of paint make sure they're dry the first coat is dry before you put the next coat on and it's okay if they get mixed up in with each other and I did not clean the brush in between now I thought I was going to use this uh, sea glass but uh, it was too big so I'm going to use some smaller sea glass and then I have these three mermaid tails that came from the Dollar Tree now I'm going to leave the hangers on those and I'm just going to hot glue this sea glass on to the mermaid tail so not the bottom part of the tail but just the top part of the tail and this sea glass I got in California last year when I went to the sea glass beach and uh, picked this up off of the beach so it wasn't all white you get a, a, a bunch of different colors mostly white and I think a little bit of blue and a little bit of green but you have to separate it yourself so I had separated a bag of the white so that's what I'm using for my mermaid tails and I know mermaid tails well okay they're fictional but most everybody sees them as like bright colors of blue and green but mine are albino so these are albino mermaid tails so mine are all white and now I have this uh, pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm just cutting pieces off of it and we're going to put it on the bottom of the tail And there it is there's my albino mermaid tails I think they're so cute so I'm just gonna add them to my shell I'm just gonna thread them through the holes and then once I get the jute to the back of the board I'm gonna tie a knot in it So I'm going to put one tail through each hole. Once I get those through, then I'm going to cut off the excess cord from the, the knots. And I have the green macrame cord that was used in the first DIY and I'm going to put that around the shell so I want to start at the top in the middle and just go around the edge and I'm just going to put it on with hot glue going to cut off the excess cord and uh, glue it down make sure the ends meet and then I'm going to take one of the starfish that are on the clothespins and you see how easy that came off some of them come off real easy and then others you like struggle to get them off so I don't know maybe they use different glues so I'm just going to put that over where the uh, ends of the cord meet. And 
And now I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of the cord for the hanger. So I'm just going to tie knots in both ends. And then I'm going to glue each end to the back of the board. And now I have this uh, vinyl that I um, cut out on my Cricut from Cricut Design Space. It says beach hair, tan lines, salty air, and mermaid vibes. I thought it would go well with our mermaid tails. And there you have it. I think it turned out good, but we're going to add a couple more embellishments to this. So we have one of these seahorses on the clothespin. And then we have a, another fish from a, the previous DIY. So we're going to use one of each. I'm just taking this tool from the Dollar Tree for Cricut. And he didn't come off all that easy, let me tell you. The uh, seahorses tend to be very difficult to get off without breaking them. And we got the little fishy. So I'm just going to hot glue those on. Trying to figure out where to put it. have it the seahorse and the fish on our sign and it is done love it love the colors and don't for forget to subscribe to my channel I love to see new subscribers tell your friends and family so I'm Liz with Liz's crafts